So I think um, the, the starting point for me wanting to apply for Jade was that I was having another baby and felt like the right time to move in a new direction. I think in the beginning when we made the application, it, it seemed that by the end of Jade, I would have moved from being a dancer to a dance animateur and be able to um, teach in lots of different community settings. But actually, it's a lot broader than that and encompasses so much. And um, I didn't really, I didn't realise that in the beginning, how broad it could be in the different areas of work within it. So I've learned a lot. Um, of different experience of working with different groups from like babies to primary school age to dance students, disabled, non-disabled dancers and also adult groups of various ages and um, I guess I've got something very particular out of each group that I've worked with and for a little while I wasn't sure which direction to go in but I sort of held on to what I felt felt the strongest to me at the time which was working with um, an adult group of um, of well, actually people that haven't had a lot of experience in dance or um, choreography before and I just really enjoyed um, doing that so I decided to to concentrate on that more in my second year. And I'm really enjoying um, the opportunity to work with the same group of people um, over a longer period of time and also it's been really nice to have um, same people return that have done my first sort of you know, workshop, weekend workshop, and they've come back for, for like maybe this is the third time now. So um, it feels like I have this really lovely little group to to work with, and they're really engaged and enthusiastic. So that's sort of keeping me going. The opportunity to bring in other artists and work alongside other people. Um, and I've got Annie Locke helping me and sort of mentoring me on this project I'm doing at the moment. And just by having her in the room, taking notes and just making me notice the things that are going on that I'm, I'm not actually seeing being in there with people. And I had um, Alison Proctor come in as ceramicist and we worked with clay and it was really lovely just to have that experience and it feels like it's the beginning of something as well that, that could develop, um, how we worked with the clay and then took that into movement. Um, and then I had uh, Jamie McCarthy, a musician, come in and he'll be coming in for some sessions and I've just never really done that before, worked alongside um, other artists, so it's a very new thing but also an exciting kind of journey as well. And so we'll pick some, we'll pick a person each to kind of, sorry, <laughs> one hand. Things I'm doing at the moment, the, the classes I choose to do or the workshops I do, even though those experiences are quite, they're, they're not as many as they used to be when I was a dancer, but I'm able to draw upon them more now. So I think that's where the shift has happened more is that I'm able to, to just pick out those little things that, that matter and, and make use of them in, within the sessions that I'm leading. Um, Polly got dropped off. James couldn't pass because you're already in the space, but maybe that's okay. Just enjoy it. <laughs> I suppose I made a bit more of a shift this year in terms of um, my how I work and not feeling like I need to spend all my time at the desk and computer and um, allowing myself time to read and research things and and play a little bit more with. Um, with the key things and finding out what, what matters to me and what the important things are and what I want to get across. So it feels, it feels quite different actually to, to when I first started out. It feels like um, I'm finding a beginning, a starting point for something that can continue on, that it's um, something that can develop further.
terrific. Thank you.